What's up, Internet? Welcome to Nerd Finance. My name's Ian Bloom. I'm your resident financial life planner and huge nerd. In today's episode, we are going to be covering compounding because last week we covered idle games and their connection to personal finance. And idle games basically take the concept of compound investing and accelerate it to like the millionth degree. Unfortunately, in the real world, we have to work in real time. So I wanted to give you some examples of how compounding actually works and a little rule of thumb to help you with the math. So to start off with, let's say that you have $100 and you can invest it somewhere where you earn 7% every year. Now that's amazing and unfortunately, you can't really get that kind of guarantee anywhere, but let's say that you can, hypothetically. You invest this $100 and you come back with $107 after the first year. Easy math, right? 7% of 100 is $7 and you add those two together. Well, in the next year, you will actually earn $7.49 because you're not just investing the 100, you're investing the 107. So you end up with $114.49. And the following year, you end up with $122 and a penny because you actually earn $8.01 on your $114.49 with that 7% rate of return. So compounding works like this. It's not just investing the $100 you start with, but it's investing the sum that you get at the end of every year to eventually produce a much larger sum. So how do we decide about how long it's going to take us to make money with compound returns? Well, there's a rule out there called the rule of 72, and it's a rule of thumb, so keep in mind it's not exact. But if you divide the rate of return by 72, you usually can get an approximation of about how long it'll take your money to double. So hypothetically, let's say that account was actually earning 10%. Well, you divide 10% into 72, and what you end up with is 7.2 years. So it would take 7.2 years for that individual's $100 to turn into $200. And you can do the math for any other rate of return in there. Again, it's not an exact rule, but it is an approximation that can help you when you're trying to make decisions about where to invest and what accounts and what to expect. I hope this video was helpful for you and taught you something that you value. If you still have questions about compound returns or investing, feel free to subscribe to this channel and look for different videos that can help out, or feel free to book some time on my calendar. I'm always happy to talk and the first meeting's complimentary. Thanks so much. I hope you have a wonderful day.